Oh, we're live. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm with Jan from New York City. She's my girl, my uh, my one of my best friends on YouTube. <laughs> How are you? Jan. Good. How you doing? I'm are good. You 15 seconds into this. <laughs> no, you're just fine. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. So Jan and I want to talk about meal planning and how we can help you guys save money, especially around the holidays where every single cent counts. Right, Jan? Absolutely. But I'm not, I have to interject. First of all, I just want to say it's absolutely an honor, pleasure, and a delight to be on your channel right now. Thank you oh, so much. So no, thank you. I've had the privilege of being on yours now three times. So I'm like, I think but I, I have to complain I'm one thing, sure. Debbie. I have one complaint. Want to know what my complaint is? All that yes. traveling I had to do to go to your broadcast studio. I took my finger and I slammed it down to get to that Jersey studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know, when we planned this, all of a sudden they're talking about this horrible storm we're going to get and, and the, uh, uh, the internet. Went yeah, I know. And I was like, of course, like, uh, of course it's going to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I guess I want to get started with meal planning. Like I'm always, um, whenever I get asked any kind of question about like, you know, what's the biggest tool that you can use to um, save money on groceries? You know, my number one is always meal planning. And do you, do you meal plan? Like, how do you meal plan? Do you do okay. It? Now I, I kind of do and I kind of don't. Mm -hmm. I don't meal plan. I method plan. For example, I knew that this week in, in my region, as you know, in neighboring states, we are expecting a monster storm. Well, right. what's perfect for that, but a huge cauldron of soup. Not only does it feed the soul, it's great on the wallet. I made it today. I did a short video showing it today. And yes, some of it was really, really good. So I met the plan. I plan to make a huge pot of soup for like, let's say three days worth of, of like dinners or interchangeably lunch, for example. And then like, for example, I might make a chuck roast in my slow cooker. And then that will last me like forever. So therefore I'll method plan doing like, you know, a chuck roast. I don't buy filet mignon. I don't buy porterhouse steaks as you already know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather feed an army in my slow cooker. And if the army mm. isn't here, the freezer is. So basically for myself, I could get six days worth of meals by doing two methods. Wow. And for me, how easy is a soup? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just want to mention one more thing. Think about something. What is soup mainly comprised of? Water. Oh, don't get me wrong. Convenience soups has its place and I'm not complaining. I love them too. But I asked myself, I said, wait a minute, I could just easily go to my sink, get my free water mm -hmm. and make as much soup as I want. But that's mm -hmm. me. I rather manufacture my own soup. That's the way I look at it. Like a yep. business person. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and I saw your, uh, your chicken soup recipe. I saw it. it. It looked delicious. It really did. I love the way you just put all those frozen vegetables in it. And you really were able to stretch your groceries even more. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. No, with, with me, like I, I grocery budget for the week. And so, so I try to, so what I do is I, I do my meal plan for the week. But then yes. I try to come up with additional meals so that I can stretch that grocery budget that I budgeted for the week to like eight, nine or 10, re uh, 10, 10 meals. And that way I'm saving money. And then by the time that my refrigerator is pretty bare, now I know it's time to grocery shop again. And that way nothing goes to waste. Because that's another and thing. And in your case, like you're a family. You're like a family of, you know, a couple of, you know, a couple of kids, you have your hubby and everything. And everybody's circumstances is different. When I was not to interrupt, when I was in my freezer the other day, I was thinking of you because I have my uh, pre-frozen meals that I manufactured myself on the cheap, and I had them stacked up like library books. <laughs> I thought of you. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm like one day I was just I was just freezing things, and I realized like if I if I take a cookie sheet and I put it in you know the small ones and I put it in the freezer and I and I and I freeze things flat. Then I lay it like books, and all of a sudden, my, my freezer is like this huge inventory as I go along. So that's when I started doing that. That's so funny that you thought of me. <laughs> and I'm cool. Well, I love your methods, and I love, you know, I really need to be my own Santa Claus sometimes. 
and consider getting what is that gadget called? That freezer thing where you wrap things up. What is that called? <laughs> oh, the um, that seal vacuum sealer. Okay, vacuum sealer. Okay, I always forget. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's more, it, it, they're, they're reasonable. They're reasonably priced. And every once in a while, we have to be our own Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them look like monsters. They take up like half your counter. I'm like, no, mine's tiny. Mine's, mine even folds down. Mine, mine folds down. I put it right in the corner of my of my cupboard and it's out of sight. Out of I mind. love that thought. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, the other ones, like the dinosaur original ones are kind of, well, I mean, I'm not going to knock any brand. I mean, yeah. but they were you know, kind of huge, right? So, to make yeah, them no, this, good. One, this, one's like, this one, you know, they have like the stainless steel ones that match your appliances. I'm like, I don't want anything extra on my countertop. So mine's like, yeah, we, we don't care like, about matching the appliances. It's like, it's like being no. in the 1960s and you have to match your heels with your pearls and, and everything. But that's okay. <laughs> but look at me, I'm wearing black, but I have on my black necklace, but that's okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, I made notes here because I didn't want to forget anything because I because you and Absolutely. I are so good at like saving money. So so now when it comes when like what do you like do you remember before you started meal planning, like how much you typically spent on groceries? Uh, to this to this day, I believe this. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you try to keep it as low as possible. But I work mm -hmm. within the parameters of about forty to fifty dollars per person per week. That's, okay. I mean, this is reality. This is my reality living in this, mm -hmm. you know, area of the world. This is just, and yes, there is a price difference in where you live and where, you know, mm -hmm. where I live. Yeah. There is, a, yeah, stuff. People, some people don't believe it. They think we're making it up, but actually, there really is because we're paying for mm -hmm. very high overheads of the of the markets. We're paying yeah. their rent, and that's really it's the truth. So. Um, but I believe that, I mean, of course, to get it as low as possible. I, I'm like myself here. I don't need that much. I, I give myself a figure, but I want to always keep it well below that figure. Some people feel, and it's a huge mistake in my honest opinion, well, I have $200 to spend. That means I should spend it plus some. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just because you yeah. have it doesn't mean you have to spend it. Yes. Yes. I, I try to go. So with me, before we started meal planning, like, I, you know, I'm a family of five. So I've got two teenagers that eat me out of house and home. Like I joke around all the time. Like if you ever want your inventory to be gone, I'll rent them to you. <laughs> and, and then I have my little six year old and it's my husband and me. So we, I always try to buy like a lot of vegetables. Like I try to make, you know, incorporate vegetables throughout every one of our meals. Cause I, I want them to be as healthy as possible. You know, we're not vegetarians. If it was up to me, I would be, <laughs> but, but I think my, my, uh, my husband would be like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so I, I kind of um, like him on the fence about all that because I agree. I think that there should be balance with everything. So it's good that you're kind of in that direction. And, the, and, and to me, it's like the protein isn't like the star, you know what I mean? So like, eat, like, for example, tonight I made breaded chicken, but I had some steam, I had some, um, some cilantro lime, uh, brown rice and some, uh, steamed broccoli. So on my plate, the broccoli was more than the chicken, you know? So that's, I kind of like lean more that way, you know? And Absolutely. So, but before I was meal planning and, and coming home, like, you know, like I had no, no plan at all, go to the supermarket with my husband, you know, everything we're putting in the cart is healthy. You know, I'm not, I'm not buying like, like box cakes or things like that. So I'm thinking I'm doing good. And then I go to the register. I was spending 280 to 290 a week before meal. Whoa. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about the reaction. <laughs> I, ah. I, I'm like, I can't like when I, when I look back and I, and I think back as to like how things used to be before you actually start looking at numbers and budgeting and, and is this and coming, before the kids the or after kids? Is this before children or after children? No, no, that was with kids. Oh yeah. No, that was with. Kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was just a few years ago. it was just a few years ago. We would just, you know, and, and it was even like we were shopping at Walmart. It's not like I was ex like shopping at like an expensive grocery store either. It was just the amount of food we were bringing home. And I had no plan at all. Like in our mind, like, Hey, we're doing good. You know, we're buying healthy things. We're going to go home, you know? And then I go home and I start putting things away and I'm like, Oh wait, I, I had two of those. Like I didn't realize like I had, you know, I didn't need to buy two packages of chicken. I have two packages of chicken in the freezer. <clears throat> That's so, a so common, it's a common mishap. People don't mm -hmm. take the inventory. Yeah. 
And so when 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 my husband started talking to me about budgeting and chasing me down the hall with like his budget sheet, like we need to talk numbers. <laughs> I, I used to be like, I don't want to. I, I used to be like, no, 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 that's okay. No, I, I'm busy. <clears throat> I'm not feeling good. <laughs> so, so, so you went from that extreme to walking around like I do with a calculator. And yes, I really do. And yes, it's an old fashioned one. And I know I can use the one on the phone. But you know, like when you're, well, you're far from my age, but when you get into like, okay, my age brackets, like you kind of like, in certain degrees, get like set in your ways. I want my office max calculator and I don't care. <laughs> I, I was still going to the bank just the other day. I was I was on the phone with my best friend, and and she's like, "Where are you? What are you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm I'm in line waiting for the bank because I have to make all these check deposits." And she was like, "Scan your checks with the app and deposit it online." Like I'm antiquated too when it comes to things like that. I'm like, "No, that's okay." Like I, I did it. I, I, I did. did it. I did it once. I did it once, but I have to tell you, it was scary. <laughs> Yes. Like, yes. I'm not, I'm not used to this. Like, I'm not going to get rid of them. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, all of a sudden, you're going to tell me like something went wrong, you know? But uh, when it comes, so when I so when I started looking at the numbers, and I finally, my husband finally was like, you know, we need to do this, and I started seeing like the biggest number we were spending, other than the other than Emily's daycare, was groceries, and and I was wow. like, no, there's got wow. there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. And so that's when I was like, I started like researching like tips and things like that. And I got so involved in it. And then now, look, yeah. like now I have my own YouTube channel. <laughs> talking <Yay! about> it. <laughs> By the way, you'll be proud to know that this, uh, this gal has earned 12, $12 and 24 cents in this last week. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Keep watching those ads. <laughs> oh, you know it. You know it. I watch all your videos. But thank you with, so with much. Me, it was like I was, I was so shocked. Like I was so shocked to see like all you have to do is, you know, I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but then the more you do it, the less time it takes. And I got Absolutely. from 280 to 290 to 180 dollars a week. And sometimes I don't even hit it. Like that's why I started sharing my grocery hauls because people were like, there's no way. Like, how like how are you spending this much? Or what are you buying? Like, are you buying like they, I, I had a comment one time say to me when I talked about my grocery budget, and that's what made me think I need to share this. One of the comments was like, oh, like you're just buying like potato chips and instant macaroni and cheese. And, I, and I'm like, I'm like, no, like, I like, that's not what I'm doing. I'm, 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 we're eating healthy and I'm buying healthy things. So I was like, you know what? Let yes, you care. are. I see that, that quality that you put into your uh, videos regarding organic. You managed to get the, org see, this is what I, I, I really respect this. You go out of your way to do the organic, but not at the organic price. Yes, yes. that's that's no, where that's I have what, the that's, that's, that's what was cutting into. That's why our budget. That's why we were spending so much before we started meal planning. A lot of it was vegetables because, like, but I, what like, is that box company that you like to use? Miss Miss something Misfit something like this. A Misfits Market, Misfits Market. Mis I love it. We get the we get the yeah. jumbo. Um, they they call it the um the madness box. It's it's uh, up, up to forty pounds of of. Fruit it sounds salad. like my life. <laughs> Yeah. Oh the man. Okay. Yeah, you can you can select it online. I mine's coming on Friday, and um, mm -hmm. and it's all organic. You know, like and it's and it's everything we were buying before, and spending mm -hmm. so much more money on. It's just a little bit of research. There's different ways that you can get what you need without spending what you do. So we went from two eighty to two ninety to one hundred and eighty dollars. And wow, wow, one fifty instead of one eighty. Like I do a dance. Like any any little bit of extra money that that I, I'm like. You oh, should do like, a oh, dance because $10. convert <laughs> that. I'm so proud of you too. Convert that. For example, let's pretend that a person's making $15 an hour at a job, a part-time job, and taxes taken out. They walk away with $10. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you save $100, you also save 10 hours of working for someone else. So a penny saved truly is a penny earned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's yep. wonderful, Debbie. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, and, and it really does add up. We were able to just, I mean, cutting down our expenses and cutting down on our grocery bill, like it added up so much. We we got out of we got out of like the credit card that we had. We paid off two cars, you know, and then now we're working mm -hmm. on our emergency fund. Like it's just yeah. it, it's and, and on the same salary, like we haven't gotten much of a raise. Like I have Whoa. to say, thank you. But that's why that's why it's like that's why to me it's like I want to let people know like it is possible like it's so easy just to take a little bit of time you know to 
start adding up the savings. Um, I feel this way. If a person does a little bit of a positive thing, whether it's adjusting your diet to a more healthier diet, whether it's adjusting your budget, whether it's adjusting to saving towards an emergency fund, a person doing a tiny incremental thing every day on a daily basis, like my dollar a day theory, okay? Yeah. It's not about the tiny amount. It's about the mm-hmm. every day. It's the every day that counts. If a person wants to yeah. exercise a little more each day, whatever. If you're doing one positive thing, look at the accumulative effect of it. Don't just look at the isolated. Ever hear of weekend warriors? They'll, they'll like have a weekend. Ah, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then by Monday, they're exhausted mm-hmm. and they defeat their own purpose and never want to do that adventure again. So that's yeah, wonderful yeah. on your, you need to write a book, young lady. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me get through this live first. <laughs> You've gotten through a number of lives, my dear. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I went on, I went on my Instagram and I asked the question, like, does anyone have any questions for, for you or I when it comes to meal planning? And, um, and Amy started saying how she tried meal planning once and it took her over an hour because she kept getting interrupted with her kids. And so she gave up and uh, she wants to try again. And she wants to know if you or I have any suggestions to cut down the time. Okay. Okay. Sure. Cutting. Absolutely. Cutting down the time is having a general idea earlier in the day when you're less frazzled. And uh, for example, first of all, slow cooker, go the slow cooker. If you have a bunch of kids and you have quiet time, you have to create that quiet time. Uh, like before the kids get up, for example, take the stuff down from the freezer or whatever, whatever, you know, icing, slicing, whatever you do, set up a pot on a slow cooker. Let that thing cook for you while you're having your busy day. How welcoming on a blustery cold day to come home and there's your meal. Yeah. No yeah. time wasted. Consider that. I hope that helps. Yeah, Absolutely. With me, when it comes to being interrupted with the kids, and I'm not complaining, I, I adore my kids, but of course, with me, I, I find that once they're in bed, like that, that hour and a half to two hours is, is like uh, magical. I remember. I, <laughs> I get so much done after 9 30. Like my, my teenagers, they stay up till 9 30, and then, you know, then, you know, they're still up, but they're at least in their rooms. Once I have that magical time, I go downstairs, I do my meal planning, I do the groceries, um, because uh, I like to use um, walmart.com, and I, I do my groceries online. Oh, that's I get awesome. So much done. I get so Absolutely. much done. I mean, I, I, I sometimes film my videos, like, at night, which is so funny, because my, my girlfriend will say to me, I saw the, the microwave clock, it says 1130. I'm like, yeah, that's PM. Like, <laughs> that's any little time I can get, and they're not around, and it's quiet. Because if you try to do something when they're around, sometimes it's just you're being pulled in different directions. I remember you're 100 mm-hmm. percent right. I remember when, you know, my daughter was a little girl, you know, she had a friend. So I was the Kool-Aid mom and the teacher at the same time. So I was constantly surrounded by kids and I had my stepchildren over on weekends. Believe me, I do know what it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, to be around a bunch of kids. But I made darn sure that I created some like, I know it sounds selfish, but we all need decompression time. That hour is so precious because what you do is you're recharging your personal batteries to just, you know, yeah. stay the course for the next day and clear your head. Not to mention handle important matters like maybe paperwork that you don't want to make a mistake with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. When it comes to balancing mm-hmm. my checkbook and things like that, I wait till the weekend because I have a little bit more time. Because if I try to squeeze Good. it Monday through Friday, I'll make a mistake in my favor. <laughs> And then be like, oh, I have extra money. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, when I've gotten that question before about meal planning too, about like how it takes so much time, that seems to be like the common thread whenever I do a meal planning video. And to me, like what I want to say is like, it's it's time that's like you said, it's invested. Like how how much, like for example, a hundred dollars now. Like how long, how many hours would I have to work at work to make that hundred dollars after taxes? Like so exactly. When I first- when I first started doing it, like I, I want to say I, I maybe forty five minutes, but it's like it's like fine tuning something. It's like a habit. So I start off at like I'm gonna say forty five minutes the first time, and now I I can probably do it in twenty twenty five minutes, you know, and saving that's that hundred dollars awesome. in twenty five minutes, you know, that's not uh, uninterrupted. 
because I completely agree with her. Like a 25 minutes when you're interrupted, it's two hours. <laughs> Can I just share something? You're so right. Can I just share something? Back in the day, we had a, a nice store called Woolworths. Some people may remember it. The older folks, maybe you might recall it. <clears throat> Woolworths. And they used to have a, a coffee counter. So once a week, mm -hmm. I designated when my, my daughter was very little. I hired a babysitter every Wednesday afternoon. That was my, quote, day off. You know, when you're a mom or a dad and, and you know, the full time thing with the kids, you are basically mm -hmm. self-employed. And yep. all self-employed people, right? All self-employed mm -hmm. people need to remind themselves, well, I need a little bit of a weekend too. So Wednesday afternoon, either way, I would come into the city, visit my mom, or I would go to that Woolworths, have my cup of coffee and a mm -hmm. piece of pie, or go there with my friends who might be watching. Hello, Joanne, you might remember that. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and Lynn, how are you? And we used to do things like that. Wednesday afternoon was precious. I felt like a new person on Wednesday night. I could yeah. conquer the world because mm -hmm. when it's just like bottles yeah. and diapers and screaming, you, you know, the mom kid thing, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course Absolutely. the husband thing. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my date nights with my husband since, since we're all, you know, like pretty much like locked in and the restaurants are, right. you know, take right. out. I just, I, that's our time. We had one day once a month that we would just take for us, you know, and, and it was, I great. understand. Yeah. This is that's challenging exactly. time. It is. It is all being locked in together. I'm just like, oh, I'm all. So like, is it 930? No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, on my channel tomorrow morning, I'm having my live show at 615 a.m. And anybody interested, tune in if you could always catch in a playback. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about holiday stress and how to cope with it. Because normally That's holiday wonderful. stress is already stressful. But this year's holiday stress is differently stressful Absolutely. so i think it's important that you know we talk about it mm -hmm. that's a great idea that, that really is a thank great you idea. yeah no definitely other than saving money like what else do you think it would be a benefit to like meal planning before we get into like how we go about doing it time uh, time planning because mm -hmm. okay money can be recovered food yep. can be bought again but mm -hmm. when you lose your time guess what you don't get it back so therefore, mm -hmm. time management, in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, mm -hmm. is integral. Try to do anything you can. I always said, I wish I could manage money the way I manage time. But I, I, I believe that I am a, a pretty good time manager. I believe in being punctual and respectful to others, you know, of others' time and stuff like that. I learned that from my dad. But in your own personal like spot in life, you have to understand that time is precious. Things like wasting time, like... There are certain uh, media uh, platforms that I used to waste time with. I do not. Maybe I'll throw on some music or say hello to, to a couple of friends, but I don't dwell on that place anymore. I'd much rather be on a platform where I'm helping someone, giving information, creating videos, such as this uh, platform uh, that I'm on now, going to YouTube. And uh, this, is, this is my opinion. So uh, time management to me, is crucial. I'm 62 years old. Uh, I mean, I hope to be here another 20, 30 years, but time goes by really fast, real fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see that in my kids. I see it in my kids. It's like, you know, like I grab onto Emily cause she's only six. So I grab onto her so tight because my teenagers are so grown now, you know what I mean? And, and then she's like growing like a sprout and then they're, they're talking so about cute. college. So I'm gonna I'm going to be a mess. In like so, so years, fast. One day they go to bed. They go to bed at 11, uh, not 11 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock at night. The next day they come out of the room. They're like 10 feet tall. Like, what happened? And when did I, I this just, happen? Absolutely. We're not getting old. Everyone else is. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, what, the, one of the other benefits that I find that with, with meal planning is the fact that, like, I'm not looking at things that go bad anymore. Like, how, 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 what a, what a bad feeling it is like when I open up like the vegetable drawer and I see like, you know, I had a tomato in there or, or, you know, like zucchini and it went bad because I didn't get a chance to look through my fridge to see what I can use, you know, so food me, waste. It's like, yeah, that is such, especially when you budget and when every cent counts, like seeing that to me, it's like one, you just wasted food someone else could have eaten. And two, I just threw money down the drain. You know, well, that, that so happens that, to all of us at one point. I mean, I'm not yeah. going to sit here and proclaim I never wasted something. Yet yeah. life happens. We forget some mm -hmm. interruption. 
whatever. In my case, I try to keep things that kind of have a longer time to decay rate. For example, I think the best bargain of all is a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. I mentioned this on, on my channel as well. It really is. Yep. You use it as you go along. Didn't they, didn't they look good in that soup today? <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. They did. I was like, oh my gosh, you, uh, when, if it wasn't because you mentioned it when you ladle it up, up like I really would have thought it was fresh vegetables. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, but you know, the fresh fruit, I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody loves fresh stuff too. But if you're concerned about decreasing your rate of wastefulness, at least it's frozen already, it keeps in the freezer, yep. and chances are you're not going to waste it. Yeah, and then plus plus, um, what they do, what I mean, I read up on it, and what they do is they actually freeze it at, like it's freshest. So then that way it lasts in the bag a lot longer. And when you put it in something, it's not going to like, you know, crumble down. So I, I love so, it. So I wanted to get into the actual steps of meal planning. Um, I, again, I get like so many questions about meal planning whenever I share like what I do or what I buy. And so like I started looking at like steps. So the first thing I do when I'm going to, when I start meal planning is I look at our, our calendar because I want to see like what events are coming up. Like if, if we're going over our relatives, you know, before this whole thing started, if we're going over our relatives for dinner, that's one less dinner I have to make. So seven, when True. Six, you know. Or, or like if the kids are going over someone's for a play date, okay, well then now I can make something for just me and my husband, for example. So instead of making something big, I can think of something small and that way it's not really like a like a big meal, you know, cut down on, on the ingredients. Um, another thing is like, my big thing is once a week, I plan on a rush meal is what I call it. Like something so simple, like, cause there's always gonna be that day where we're running late or, you know, my husband's working late or I'm working late or the kids have a ton of homework. And so I, I want to get them in bed on time because, again, I need my precious 930. <laughs> so, well earned so, and well deserved. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So I want to come up with something quick. So it, that's usually when I turn to, like, you know, pizza because I've got dough frozen in the in the in the freezer or um, tacos. I do that. I do that pretty often, too. Um, those are really like my, my top two. Like there's always something else that I can make as well. But those two are like my I can I can get it done in 20 minutes. You know, and you see, so, there you so go, so because you planned plan ahead. Life. You planned mm -hmm. ahead. Now, some exactly. people don't like meal planning per se. I mean, everybody is different. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. But like, mm -hmm. I think where people have a problem, and, and I agree with this, is like getting a list and saying, well, Monday, I'm going to have rice. Tuesday, I'm going to have cheese. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. if, if you like doing that, and it works for you. I'm always for if mm -hmm. the person likes what they're doing and they're comfortable mm -hmm. with it, fine. That wouldn't mm -hmm. be me. Yeah. When I go to the store, I like to plan um, components and then take my mood. This week, it's the chicken soup mood because I you know, have an impending huge storm coming up. It's just mm -hmm. for me, like mentally hearty, just feel so good kind of thing. Yeah. Have some hot chocolate after my soup type thing. Every week mm -hmm. is different. Now, in July, more than likely, mm -hmm. I'm not going to plan a big old pot of chicken soup. In July, mm -hmm. I'll probably have a nice cold pasta salad, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, you look yeah, at your, your weekly circumstances, which is great. Your monthly as well. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like I just want to make sure like I'm not going to be looking at the fridge. Like there's no there's no worse feeling than the, you know everyone's like, hey, what's for dinner? And I look at the fridge and I'm like, um, <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> I want to have something. I want to have something prepped, like you said, either in the crock pot or if we're running around. I want to be able to just have that have those tacos done 20 minutes. You know. So that's that, wonderful. That's, so that that's cuts wonderful. Down. So like, yeah, thank you. And then, of course, is like our favorite topic, which is taking inventory, like the, the second step of your fridge, your freezer, and your pantry. Like, right? I know, I know that's a book. Absolutely. That's a book. I, 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 I can't, I can't, I, I do it almost like this sounds really weird, but I do it like almost on a like alternate day basis. I want to make sure, I want to make sure, especially now we're in a little bit of a challenge. And I mean, the weather with, with other obstacles and, and you know, hours changing, things may happen, weird stuff in three weeks. I, I, that's just the way it is. So I was like looking at like uh, like my canned goods uh, stockpile, for example. I, I, again, bean counter. I'm a bean counter. Mm -hmm. It works. Yeah. Yeah. You have like, to anticipate. Yeah. No, you do. You really do. My thing is, um, when I take inventory, I, I, I kind of do two things at the same time. Again, saving time because I don't have a lot of it. 
is I'll take a notepad and I'll, I'll divide it in half. So one is my inventory. Like I'm looking, like when I open the fridge, I'm like, okay, well, I have mozzarella cheese. Like I have a jar of sauce. Like I have this. So I just, I just write down what I have. I don't look at the condiments themselves because, you know, I pretty much know that. But as yes. well as like, oh, I've got a jar of marinara sauce or I've got, a, I've got a, a, a block of mozzarella cheese. If I have pizza crust in the freezer, I have for pizza. You know what I mean? So You're reminding I'm, I'm, me of something. You know, you just reminded me that I'm, I'm making, tell me I'm not hearing a door knocking right now. You're reminding me that I am making my annual big ziti, which I do every time for Christmas. I cut that thing in half. Then I freeze the remainder of it for New Year's Eve. I don't have to cook New Year's Eve. That's and this awesome. New Year's Eve, I'm a little busy because I'm going to Money Mom's channel at 11 o'clock at yes. night. Yes. Yes. I, I hope I'm not sitting there like it's not money, mom. It's my body, physical body. I hope I'm not sitting there like, hi, buddy, mom. You're not you, money, mom. Me, my fault because I get up early. <laughs> you're gonna have like a third cup of coffee for that. You're gonna be, you're gonna be popping. You're gonna be like, I'm gone. I'm gonna be boss. Hi, buddy, mom. <laughs> <laughs> When, um, oh my gosh, I can laugh with you all day. When when I'm making my, my, my list, like on one side, I'm putting down what I have, but on the other side, I'm putting down what I need. Like, uh, like oh, I only have- Oh, I love that. Part. That's great. Yeah. I love that. So, mm. so then that way I'm not like, you know, taking an inventory and then being like, oh gosh, like, do I have milk? Do I have this? Like, I'm literally opened up my fridge. I'm like, I got this, this, this. Oh, I need milk. I need eggs. I need this. I need that. So I'm making like a double list. So my, my notepad becomes like like cut in half. And then once I have what I have uh, in my in my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry, now it's about like trying to come up with meals based on what you have before right. you even start thinking about what to buy. You know, and that, the component right? you you work. That's why I said earlier, like it's about method, and it's about I mean we everybody calls it different things. Method and components. Method, well, how am I going to make it? Slow cooker. Uh, components, well, what am I going to put in there? I'm going to put in a roast. I'm going to put in some carrots. I'm going to put in some potatoes. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we know what we need. We know our own yeah. individual, what we, well, we should know. We should know what we can work with. That's really key to really understand what your needs are. If, if a person is single, for example, their stockpile is going to be slightly different than the person mm -hmm. with two children and a husband. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. a single person, start to, I mean, it's not, re, it's not necessary to have 45 cans of tuna fish if you're by yourself, yeah. unless yeah. you really like tuna fish, like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and then of course, and once I, once I do that, then I, as I'm going through the fridge, it's kind of like, you know, like us women, we triple task. Like I can't even say like multitask, like it's more than that because you're right. I'm looking through the fridge to see like what I need and what I have. I'm also looking at, do I have any leftovers that got pushed to the back? Because, because I don't want anything going to waste. If I find love anything, leftovers, you know, love. If I, oh my gosh, if I find anything that I could use for a meal or even like as a side dish to a meal, then that, that has to get eaten up and it has to get used. Cause if not, again, it's money down the drain. Debbie, I have so, a question for you, and I know it's your show, but I do have a quick question. No, no. Why do why do leftovers get such a bad reputation? I'm like, wait a minute, that's like takeout. That's mm -hmm. you put it in a food saver. You put it in one of those dividing ones that you freeze on mm -hmm. a tired night. Pop that in your nuke. Pop yep. that in your oven. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Leftovers yep. rule. Yep. <laughs> or or oh my gosh, like. My my biggest thing, I don't know why, but I always make too much chili. Like I have, <laughs> you know, like I can make it, I can make enough meals for my family. Like tonight's meal, I know when we don't have leftovers. You know what I mean? But for some reason, when I make chili, if I, I make soup, it goes because my husband is like a soup fanatic. He'd be at your house right now. You'd have no soup. For us. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the way yours looks so delicious. I'll send him over. <laughs> Thank like, you. <laughs> But when it comes to chili, like that's something like the, it's not the kid's favorite. I don't make it spicy because my little one, she doesn't like things spicy, but no. I always have a lot of it. So I, I can freeze some for another meal and then have them then roll their eyes like mm, it's chili again. Or I can take it and I can make it into something else. Like I've taken chili and I've and, I, and I've made shepherd's pie with it. Oh, so good. I, I literally like just put some homemade mashed potatoes, you know, a little bit of crumbled cheese. And then, and then I've taken that and I've frozen that. 
like so so I oh got that works beautifully oh wow it's like a third generation of one original meal it's like the grandchild yeah. of it just just some just some potatoes and, and some cheese on top. yeah or i've taken some and i've made tacos with it like you know you just take some put some shredded cheese on top a little bit of salsa sometimes if it's you know if it dries up a little bit like when you heat it up again and and i roll it into something else because I've gotten that comment a lot before. Whenever I talk about leftovers, someone will say to me, like, well, my, my husband or my kids, we don't eat leftovers. We don't like leftovers. You I'm upcycle like, well, it. You leftovers. upcycle it. You don't. I can understand, like, if a person says, oh, I'm going to have that thing again. Uh, no, you redo it. You take it and, yeah. and reinvent it. Reinvent it. Um, for example, like, I mean, a turkey or a chicken. Roast chicken is a great example. I mean, you can have chicken salad. You can have chicken soup. You can have chicken croquettes. Whatever. I mean, you could, I mean, the sky seriously is the limit. Um, now I can understand if somebody has the same thing. Oh, chicken salad Monday. Oh, chicken salad Tuesday. Sure. By Wednesday, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want chicken salad again. Change yeah, it up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You got to change it up, roll it up, putting it into something new. And it doesn't take a lot because like the shepherd's pie, it's literally is just mashed potatoes, like four or five potatoes, a little bit of crumbled cheese on top. And now you have a new meal. So, I, I and by the way, here's the lazy, know. here's the lazy person shepherd pie. Lazy, per, not lazy. I just called it that. Suppose okay. you don't, suppose you don't like have a whole bunch of. You could get a can of like chunky type soup, and you could work the chunky soup, and you put that with your leftover mashed potatoes. Throw it in your oven. Voila, shepherd's pie. Ah, <laughs> <Wow. laughs> I'm telling you, that is so creative. That really is so creative. That's awesome. No, it's called, it's called when I was a teacher and, and that at that time I was doing 500 things. I did it once or twice. I didn't do that all the time. I rather, you know, do things from, you know, scratch cooking because it's cheaper. But um, like, really, it really is a fast method. If you just, you know, yeah. just don't want to, you know, have no time, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to, I want to make sure I get to the other questions that I have here. So I'm looking real quick. Sure. Um, oh, it, when I'm, when I'm taking inventory of my fridge, if I see something that is going to go bad, you know, or like something that's like on its last leg, like day or two, like some carrots, I have a little bit of the green popping up on top or, right. or like, uh, or, or, or onions that are starting to get that little root at the bottom. Like I yes. put a little star next to my inventory. And then as I'm sitting down trying to make meals out of what I have, like what I have on hand, I make sure to incorporate those ingredients. So that way, yes. again, nothing goes to waste. So that, that's absolutely. Awesome. So use it first, like you're rotating it in order of uh, expiration. Yeah, that's and then good. Once, and then once you're, make, once you're making your list, your 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 meals based upon what you have on hand. Like for example, like like I wrote an example because this, this is something that I've, I've heard of. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. If you have chicken breast in the freezer and you have breadcrumbs, or you've made breadcrumbs from from bread that's about to go bad or that's stale, and you have a jar of sauce in the fridge. Well, if you had, if you got some mozzarella, then mm. now you better to your farm. Love. You know, so, so I, I'm crossing off what I have in my inventory as I'm writing down meal ideas that I can come up with. And now I've made chicken farm, and all I need is mozzarella cheese. So the mozzarella I cheese goes that. in my grocery store. I love that because by doing that like prior to stepping out to the grocery store, yes. many times people do not realize what they have. And, and many times, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. You'd be amazed and surprised at really what people do have. They don't even know. They might have forgotten. Some people in safe space have made stockpiles under their, I'm not even kidding. Well, people live in small apartments do this, under their beds or behind a table or something. Mm -hmm. And they may have forgotten about it. It pays to get a trusty notebook. Everything in my life, trusty notebook. Trusty notebook, trusty notebook. I mean, I'm the trusty notebook queen. And yes, Don, I don't mind getting another 10 for Christmas. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> yep. She knows who I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm looking here. Oh, so Kath uh, Catherine May, do you know her channel? Catherine May? No. Oh my gosh. She's lovely. You would love her. She does organization. Oh, I'll check her out. And sure. She, her editing style is 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 something like I, I strive to one day be like that because she's awesome. She's young. She's beautiful. She has such a great personality. So anyway, she left me a great a, a great question, which goes to like my next step. So I wanted to share it with you. So she says sure. she says where where do you go to find new recipes to make? Are you throwing that question to me? 
Yes, I am. Boop, right at you. <laughs> you give me the really easy questions there, lady. <laughs> um, honestly, honestly, uh -huh. um, I have to see where my mood takes me. If I can't, if I can't figure it out, I'll go look online. There's so much variety of situations. Like, for example, if somebody if somebody enjoys chicken, but they're tired of the way they prepare it, go to that website, whatever, go online and investigate that. Talk to friends, yeah. uh, people from different cultures, uh, prepare chicken di differently than somebody else. There's a plethora of information out there. You really don't have to go blank on it uh, because the information is actually there. You just have to direct your energy to the right resource. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a simple person with food, so any anything anything works for me. I, I but that's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's yeah. different. I have I have two websites that are also apps that I love, and that's why yes. when she, when I saw that question, I was like, oh my gosh, I I I love these two. One of them is called All Recipes. Yes, that's good. No, I I like so, it. So like, oh my gosh, it's it's great. So All Recipes, I don't know about the website as much because I use the app more but it has what's called a dinner spinner. So like, like in the example of the chicken, so you put down, like you, you can put down what you have, like it, it, it gives you three fields. It gives you like, are you looking for breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizer, things like that. So you put whatever it is, right. You scroll to it. And then you put down like, like chicken, for example, let's say I have chicken and I have a jar of sauce and then, and then you, you hit the dinner spinner and it's really cute. It does like a little like oh, how kind cute. of thing. <laughs> and then all of a sudden where it stops, <laughs> <laughs> where where it stops all of a sudden the screen opens up and it's all these beautiful <laughs> meals and you could just Adorable. click on and it's based on what you have so if, if you click that's on really that good love, that's good yeah. i'm sure that'll help the the uh, you know wonderful person that asked that question that's really cool i like that yeah. And so, and so like, if you click on a recipe and you have everything and you're missing one ingredient then that one ingredient goes on your grocery list and then that meal goes on your meal plan and, and getting back to something else that you said, I come up with my week's worth of meals. But although I have one of those, um, I got it for $3, like it's nothing, but a little like meal planner a pad that I stick on, on my calendar in my kitchen. And although it yeah. says on Monday I'm making this and on Tuesday I'm making that, no. Those are just the meals I'm making for the week. Like my son, my son, he's very regimented. He'll come up to me. He's like, mom, mom, it's Tuesday. You're making mac and cheese. Right? And I'm like, no, I'm not making mac and cheese today. <laughs> How cute. That's adorable. You know, because I don't, I don't want to feel regimented, you know, but I want to have, like you said, have a plan ahead of time. As yeah, you I'm have to have some sort of a model, an idea. Last night, um, I believe it was last night. Last night I uploaded, uh, you know, about cheap menu ideas for seven days. That doesn't mean that it's like the rule of law. What it is, is it's a model of ideas of inexpensive foods and you take what you want from it and, you know, adapt it to your personal taste. But for example, you could get two major components of something and then just either roast it or soup it or stew it. And to me, you get six days, but you recycle and change it up. For example, mm -hmm. uh, if you make a vegetable stew, you could take some of that veg uh, vegetable stew and make a vegetable pot pie from it on another night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you yep. make spaghetti, you could take a handful of that spaghetti and turn it into lo mein another night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which your recipe, I have to say, she has a great lo, lo mein <laughs> recipe. We talked about this on your show. And I would, if I could put my fork through the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take know. the full credit of that. Uh, it was inspired by another channel. And unfortunately, I, I forget exactly the name. But when I can remember, it was inspired by watching this channel do a chicken, a chicken uh, lo mein. But that night I did a vegetable lo mein. Here's what happened. I ate a chicken leg and I said, that's not enough. I want something else. So I keep, if you have leftover pasta or rice, keep them in your food saver in your refrigerator. Don't discard it, whatever you do. But some people do. I don't. So I had a handful of that very thin spaghetti, which, by the way, is a big value. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make vegetable lo mein. I had mixed vegetables. I had the, the pasta. I seasoned it up. I used nonstick spray. And uh, I put the whole, you know, the whole thing together. And at the very end, I entered one scrambled egg to fortify it with a little protein. It was so good. It, was it looked so amazing. It looked Thank amazing. you. It, it, Thank it you. Looks, it's simple enough. It's simple enough where anyone that's watching can make it. 
and it was delicious. Like I, I and no I tip, like, no tip for takeout. You so I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. I have nothing wrong with restaurants or takeout, but just that particular night, I was like, I want something more than this chicken leg. <laughs> yes, yes, no, definitely. Work with what you have. That's basically yes. the whole thing. And and the second and the second app that is also a website, of course, is Pinterest. I love Pinterest, and both the yeah. and both of these apps and websites allow you to save the the recipes that you have. Because I don't know about you, but when I come up with a good recipe that I find, not having it access next time I want to make it is so frustrating. Because I feel like I'm, I on, agree. I'm online. I'm online forever. I'm like, what was it? What website was it? What was it called? Like, I love that those two apps and websites allow you to save it. To your so you're so you're you able to save it. Oh, what a time saver! Because I mm -hmm. mean, the last thing you feel like doing is researching it again. But that's not the yes. one. I want the one that had this in it. I know. Yes. I know. Yes. No. Definitely. Definitely. So, and then I wanted to talk about. Okay, so now that you've taken inventory of what you have and you've made the meals based upon that, now you have to fill the gaps for the rest of the week, right? So that's where right. the trusty circular comes into play. <laughs> yes. I, uh huh. Yes. <laughs> I know that some, like I I I'm lucky enough to get the circular dropped off at my door, but of course like on a rainy day or anything else, it's a mess. Wow, so, that's great. I, I, know, I know that you uh you talked about on one of your shows like you like to look it up online. This is a resource that oftentimes for whatever the reason is forgotten. You could find your local circular uh, more than likely almost everyone online. And the beauty part it's like if you're really on like really watching your pennies and you're afraid to get to the physical store to be too embarrassed to not have enough. This is the real world. I'm talking real world talk here. You, you go on onto the site and you enter your information, what you want, and you have that running list of, oh, is that what it might cost? That's very mm -hmm. helpful. Instead yeah. of just guesstimating it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I, um, Going, going the app, uh, app, app route, app, I can't talk, app route, um, is um, on my phone. I always have the Flip app. I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with it. but like I think I heard of like, it. Yeah, so so it has every single circular around you. Like, uh, not even, not only just groceries, like anything. And then awesome. um, all you do is when you're on it, if you see something that you, that you want because it's on sale, if you click on it, it adds it to your shopping list on the app. And that will when you're at the store not only do you have like your physical list but you can be like what was that thing that was on sale that i wanted to get because it's like two for one you know you look on the app and there it is so oh like so that. cool i mean you know we have such an advantage over let's you know let's yeah. look back at where moms and grandmas shop I mean, mm -hmm. either you got it or you missed it there's yeah. no in between where today the information is at the touch of a button literally yeah it really so is we're, we're really it's, blessed it's, Mm -hmm. And then the and then the thing with the circulars too, and then I want to get to the comments because I see these comments. Pop sure. Up, oh my gosh, I can't wait to read them. Um, the thing with the circulars too is, you know, like people don't realize that the supermarkets, it's really psychological. Like I and I have another show coming up about this. Like I, I'm so into like psycho psychology and things like that. There's yes. such a psychology that goes into having you spend more money when you're at the supermarket. And one of them comes into play when it comes to the actual physical circular or the one online, because if you're looking at it online, you see the first page, second, it's as if you're flipping through the whole thing. So what the supermarkets do is they put their loss leaders, which is what they call it, like the items that they're actually losing money on. They put it on the first page and they put it on the last page. And most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, everything in between, you're not really saving money. It's reworded. Like, like yeah. if you look at the actual price of items, like they'll say 10 for 10, like on page two. Yeah. But if you look at the actual price, it was like, you're saving like 10 cents if you buy 10, you know, so it's not, it's not a savings. So if you, and really typically to... lost leaders are typically from my experience, lost leaders are emphasized at what time of the month, the time of the month that they feel people are broke. They yeah. usually towards like, I call it the skinny chicken time of the month. Ever yes. notice, ever hear somebody say, all the good sales are on sale and every time I'm broke. Okay. I've heard people say this. Yes. Okay. They put the lost leaders on purpose, right? Deb? Towards the end mm -hmm. of the month, that's your hook. A lost leader is a hook to get you into the store. And then that's a, hey, take full advantage of, I mean, you know, you know, within reason, get that thing that you, you know, wanted or needed, especially yeah. needed. And I always find, <laughs> and I always find, that, and I always find that like, it's always like the, like the meat. 
like it's they always throw like a good piece of meat in there at a really low price, you know. But when you go in there, you're not just gonna get that, you know. You're you're gonna hopefully stick to your list, which is like the next thing I was gonna say. After you've planned your meals around what you have, and then you look at what you need, and then you look at the circular to come up with additional meals. Make sure to look at the first and the last page because that's where the savings are. And then hopefully now you've come up with your whole week worth of meals. But what I what I like to do though is I always cut my meal plan by one day. So I so anything that like if I'm making like a roast, I see like the roast is on sale. I'm like, wait a minute. You always have to plan for leftovers because if you've made a whole week worth of meals, leftover day for me is my favorite day of the week. And At I leftovers, I upcycle whatever word you want to use. That is our friend. That is your free takeout. You paid for it. That's yeah. your takeout. Yeah. That should not have to cook. Just reheat, heat, and eat, recycle. Mm -hmm. It's your friend. And then, you're you're absolutely right. That's my that's why it's my favorite day of the week because I'm not cooking. <laughs> Me too. I've got this free time today. <laughs> <Right. laughs> and, and then what I do is I take everything out of the fridge, right? And I put it and I heat it all up right before the family comes down and I put it like buffet style on the table. And then everyone's kind of excited too, because if they wanted to eat Tuesdays or Wednesdays meal, you know, like go for it. Like, I'm not, I'm not telling you what to eat. It's not just this, it's whatever you want. And then the best part is, so one, I'm not, I'm not cooking, just like you said, two, they're eating everything. So nothing's going to waste. And three, they're cleaning out my fridge. So now I've got Yay, nothing. we love that. <laughs> so I can start again the next week. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? Like, I don't know about if you do this, and I know you want to get your comments, but just to say something really fast. I like to assess my mm -hmm. a future upcoming week. Usually it's about Saturday night or Sunday for some reason. Or uh, By the way, usually I'm playing Kate Caden in the background. Hi, Kate. Oh, <laughs> anyway. You. <laughs> I'm playing Kate Caden in the background. That's if I'm not scheduling a show. And I'm like mm -hmm. doing the inventory thing. And it's just such a good feeling when you just have that sense of, oh, okay, we'll be good this week. We're all good. Yeah. Early is good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's like when, when you're, you know, when, when you have little kids, especially, and they're always like, Hey, what's for dinner? Hey, what's for dinner? Hey, what's for dinner? And, and like I, I work full time and my husband does as well. And now we're everybody's stuck at home. And then I go downstairs after 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 working and I'm like, now I've got to make dinner. Just having that plan ahead of time, like you said before, not only does yeah. it save you time and money, but it honestly yeah. gives you peace of mind. Like I, it I does. Kind of be like, it really you know, does. It's, talk about it. it's been cooking all day. Like, let, let's eat whenever you guys are ready. You know, it's kind of like, a, oh, you know, years <laughs> <Namaste>. ago, <laughs> you're so right. Years ago, they used to call it uh, one company. I'm talking about way back in the 70s. One company called it um, a different company, not crock, but they called it like food butler. And I'm like, oh, how cute. What a cute name. Because if you think about it, that person, that, that person, that slow cooker is like sort of like your little worker for you. What you're doing is slicing, dicing, and dumping, slicing, dicing, and dumping. Unless, of course, yeah. you know, you just sear something. Wow, what a big deal searing it. Oh, what a monster. So you sear it a couple of minutes and then you just set it and bye bye. But I know you yeah. have comments, right? Oh, yes, I do. And I want to get to them. I, when it comes to my crock pot, I don't want to sear anything. Like, I just want to dump it. I want to do a dump and go. Like, I really do. If well, something, they I'm have those I'm books that you're familiar with and recipes. The dump and goes are great. Oh my gosh. They're great. All right. Let's get to some comments here. I see them popping up. Oh my gosh. I'm so flattered. My first live and look at this. I want to start from the beginning. I'm like, oh my gosh. I know. I know the feeling. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm trying to really like go along. <laughs> that happened to me the other day. I, I was expecting two people. They were like 20. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, Kimberly's from your channel, Jan. Hey, I know oh, who you are. Who are you? <laughs> oh, thank you, Kimberly. That's a sweet of you oh lady likables she's my girl <laughs> she nice to meet channel. you she does oh my gosh she's such a sweet person you'd really like her she does grocery hauls but my my favorite videos that she does is she shares her meals of the week she oh i'm checking that out i like that idea what 
she's she's lovely. Her comments are great, but um, she does she does the way she cooks her vegetables. I say it every week. I'm like, how did you do that? Like, it's just it's, it's just she's such a great cook. She really is. I love watching those videos. Let me see. Oh, Pam. And Lady Likeables, Wanda. Is that Pam Check out the, the Rhonda Stone, Because I don't see the, the comments on my end. Yeah. I have to check that out. I've heard of her. I think you've mentioned her before. If her that's Pam Howe, how, how are you? Oh, that's so sweet. They're see. so sweet. I could just hug them all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jessica's on here. Hi, Jessica. She says, that's really smart. I don't think my mom does inventory. Uh, she's definitely going to recommend it. Oh, thank you. So cute. Oh, Life of Granny T. Hi. So sweet. Oh, Granny Pre Prepper. We both have like the same people Yay. on our channels. <laughs> Yay. They're awesome. God bless every single one of you. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so it's so sweet. I love this. Um, She says leftovers are just meals I haven't made yet. That's right. Yay. That's right. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Here, I'm going to, I'm going to tag that one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, she she cooks once and then she eats two or three times a week. Yes. Oh, Steve's on here. Hi, Steve. Hey. Hi, Steve. How are you? <laughs> oh uh, he says, I have taken my spaghetti sauce and converted it into chili. That's a really good idea. And Steve makes a darn good spaghetti sauce because it. I, I'm not sure where his recipe comes from, but he explained it to me. And the way it sounds, sounds outrageous. Oh, wow. Oh, the Nelly presents Grandma's Wealth Wisdom. Hi. Oh, gosh. Rochelle's on here. Um, do you know Rochelle at uh, Rochelle's channel? I, I um, Rochelle's project. channel? I know of Rochelle, and the person I'm thinking of, ha last name begins with a T. Is well, that this, correct? This is Rochelle Atkins Budgets. She does, she does budgeting, no. but my favorite thing to, to see her do, which I know I'm like, I, I don't know why, but I just, yeah, I find it peaceful, like, because she loves to talk about budgeting, is she'll, cool. she'll, she'll make her cash envelope. I'm there. I'll look at the channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I love her videos. Oh, makes a granny prepper. Oh, she says, just don't feed them the same thing two days in a row. Oh, the long run with Joel and Christy. Hi, guys. I love them. They are like so cool. Hello. They are so sweet. They're they're such I love them. Down to earth. If you guys want to check out their channel, they're great. They do grocery hauls, they do meals. They did the 12 days of Christmas. If I could put my hand through the phone, just like with your chicken soup <laughs> and have those desserts, I, I would have gained 10 pounds. Christy's amazing in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was so good. I couldn't stop drooling as I'm commenting. It's true. Oh, I agree. Like Oh, Lady Likeable says she enjoys my channel. I'm a lovely. Oh, she's lovely. I hope you guys go check her out. She's such a sweetheart. And Joanne loves oh, you. And she says she's gonna she's gonna uh, sub to you. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. Channel. My goodness. Thank oh, you. That's very Absolutely. kind of you. Uh, the, the Neely say that they love trusty notebooks too. We, trusty note. I I can't live without them. I have to have it. This one's so cute. It's like my favorite. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, and speaking of notebooks, like my last tip regarding saving money, I'm sure I'm sure you'll agree, is to stick with your list and eat a snack before you go to the supermarket. You know, there's Very nothing cool. worse than going to the supermarket hungry. True. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And some people oh, get I hangry. Mean, like, <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yes, those cookies—that's the worst. My husband knows that when I when I used to go into the supermarkets before this whole thing started, he knew that I went hungry if I came home with Oreos. I don't know magically <laughs> they just ended up in my car. I'm like, I don't know how that happened. Like I was by myself. <laughs> the Oreo effect. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're horrible. They're so good though. Oh, Eileen Lester says hi. She's so sweet. Hey, oh, Eileen, how are you, Walt? <laughs> Hey, yes. how are you? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Oh, they're saying hi to each other. So cute. I'm so glad you talked me into this, Jan, because honestly, like, this is so well, sweet. Well, you know, I feel this way, Deb. The, the minute I saw your first video, I felt this way. Honestly, I mm -hmm. felt like this, that the world needs to know about Debbie, because Debbie had no, no, you have an important message. And I think people need that message. So that's why I kind of like was like, oh, you got to go live. You got 
like a lot. Oh, you're so sweet. She's been supporting me, guys, since like day one. She was my, I think, 11th subscriber, right? <laughs> I had 10. <laughs> I had 10, which is great. I, I'm grateful for everyone. But I had 10, yeah. and all of a sudden, you're like, what a great channel you have. And you gave me a shout out. And next thing I you did. Know, coming over. I did. Like, you know, and, and I, I would do it a thousand times. No, when I see the good stuff, you will end up on my practical video show. Oh, no, please. I love your videos. Um, let me see. Oh, Eileen, Eileen Lester says that she uses Pinterest too. Uh, Pinterest is a great, good stuff. Pinterest is really great. Let me see. Uh, that's my uh Christmas about... clock, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so great. You guys, thank you guys so much. This is so sweet. They're all talking to each other. She's oh, uh, Rochelle says that she loves uh, she loves to look up the circulars online too. She's like you. It's fun because you could shop without shopping, and you know that's also a great method to dissuade yourself. Some people shop by impulse, and a good rule of thumb, a good trick, is to just go to that website, whatever the website is, throw in anything you want in the cart. Forget about it for 24 hours. Just leave it there. Yeah. The next day you'll look at it and go, did I really put that in that cart? Like, of course, don't pay for it yet. And you might rethink your plan. So take a delayed yeah. approach to anything. Yeah. I I love shopping online. Like, you know, like I, until this whole thing happened, I never shopped for my groceries online. I would always have my list, eat my snack and regimented, go to the store and, and do that. But shopping online is great because you get to you get to see live what you have on your cart. And so like at the end, like, you know, even if, even if like the things pop up, like, oh, you know, like again, those Oreos, the Oreos are on sale, you know, but at the end, when I look at my total, I'm like, wait a minute, no, I went over or, or I can cut this down a little bit more. And all it is, is like a swipe and delete. And that's it. I love shopping online. I agree. Oh my gosh. And it's such a time there. saver too. It's such a time saver. You're saving gas. You're saving mm -hmm. time. You're saving yeah. effort and energy. And for example, like if you're mm -hmm. stocking up on paper goods, okay. For example, I like to keep food food uh, items separate shopping from uh, mm -hmm. paper goods. Paper goods at the mm -hmm. like regular mom and pop kind of grocery store is usually mm -hmm. it's usually more expensive in my opinion. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. absolutely. Then if you could go somewhere where you could get a discount, and there are some places that do nothing but sell paper goods, for example. You could consider mm -hmm. buying them in bulk and having that delivered, no gas. Uh, it's just it's just wonderful. And to have it and not scramble around, I mean, just mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Lady Likeables, here she goes with her great recipes. So she says, I'm telling you, you, you got to check her out. She's such a sweetheart. I will. Says, I will. You need to give oh. me a list of those names later, and I will go there. Absolutely. Yes. Oh my gosh, she she's she's amazing. So she says mashed potatoes with cheese inside and and a dippity fried eggs. Bliss. I'll be oh over at eight. <laughs> oh my god, all right. My mom used to say you take anything, you fry, you put a fried egg on top and it's delicious. That's what she used to tell you, me. You, your mother was ahead of years because then remember it became the trend. They putting a fried egg on a burger, putting a fried egg on a hamburger, I mean on a hot dog. I'm like, okay, moms knew about this for years because moms are <laughs> yeah. my, that's where I got my frugality from I used to say all the time my mom used to take a dollar she used to take 50 cents and turn it into a dollar I used to say that all the love time it. That's, that's love how it. she was Absolutely. that's wonderful yes yeah. mm -hmm. there's oh, a lot Lisa of Miller. Oh, wait. She said, Hi. who is it oh, Lisa Miller hey I, Lisa I, how are you of your what a talented so person. Sweet. She was recently on my show. She's so sweet. She's very Love crafty. you. She's very crafty. Yeah, very, very crafty. Awesome. Love you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, guys. Thank you, guys. Oh, uh, li uh, live the love you love. Uh, li I'm sorry. Live the life you love. Let me see. Uh, nice. I like that name. For, for, yeah. Yeah. I got to check her out. She says that she, she likes pharmacies for paper goods. That's good. Yes. It so, sometimes, yes. It depends, I guess, where you're going and your locale. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let me see. I get everything at Walmart. You know, like it, when when I, when I'm running low, I'll get one of those big jumbo things. And then if they if they give me a substitution, what I love about them is if you if you got a substitution 
and it's a lower price item, you pay the lower price. But if nice. the institution worked in favor and you got something bigger for a lower price, they don't pay you, they don't charge you more. Right. So I sure I sure that. wish that I had an Aldi's. I sure wish that I had a Walmart. I don't know what it is about like like in the inner city here. Okay, let me look. If there's an elected official watching this, please put a Walmart here. Please get it always here. We just don't want boutiques and handbags. And we oh, want real no. places. Want, no, it's true. We want real places. Mm -hmm. We're real people and we like real stores. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for online shop. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not yeah. even kidding you. I am saying this for real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you you walk to the supermarket and back, right? Because you said it's in walking yeah, distance. Yeah, it's, in, it's in walking distance. But um, mm -hmm. I would love to know what it feels like going into an Aldi's. We don't have one here in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aldi's they need good. to get one so here. We have, we have one local to us. Yeah, we have one local to us. But they're good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. God, That's I it. I know. Everybody's good. saying, "Well, you leave the city." Well, I can't because I have family here. <laughs> you're like no no, this no is I, I just no I always get this question well when are you gonna leave that city well I was born here my family's here I'm staying here so I have to whine for a minute or two but I'll get over it <laughs> no but if, <laughs> if an official is watching please consider the residents you know we like to go to discount places too just saying mm -hmm. yeah definitely we've been on for more than an hour I can't believe this yes we have <laughs> Every time, every time I talk to you, it feels like 10 minutes. I can't believe all Thank these you wonderful so much. people that watch. They are. Thank you guys they so are much for awesome. your They are really awesome. And Jan, I can't thank you enough for being on, honestly. Can you think An of honor, anything actual else? An actual honor and a pleasure. Oh, my gosh. No, thank, <gasps> thank you. you thank Debbie, you, Debbie. So please. I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Oh, no. Anytime. Thanks again. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, it hit the like button, I guess. <laughs> you oh, yes, absolutely. Hit her like button. Yes, oh. do that. <laughs> yes, yes, please. And please go check out Jan. She, again, I mean, I don't think we have to say it anymore. You're fantastic. Oh, thank you so and much. I can't say No, you're fantastic. We, we, we love you. And, and I know you appreciate everything. You're just a, a wonderful person. Oh. I'm so glad for this platform and that others had a chance to see your, you know, good work. Oh, no, same here. And if you guys aren't subscribed to Jan, please run over and hit that subscribe button and watch all her stuff. She's, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank and you. And even if you're the frugalist of frugal, you learn from Jan. You really, really do every time. And guess what? Thank you so much. But did, you know, there's one tip I got to mention. For anybody that wants to save money on baking a cake, remember we mentioned this the other day? Use your box cake mix, make the two layers, freeze one of the layers, and you got two sessions out of it. And one of them, they're both less calories than everything else. And it shares better. So there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Thank you so much, Jan, again. My pleasure. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.